Towering over other birds, ostriches can grow up to 9 feet tall, with their necks accounting for almost half that height. And while they have large round bodies, their heads are much smaller, with big round eyes, the largest eyes of any bird in the world. Because they're omnivorous, they eat everything from roots, plants and seeds to lizards and insects. The grown ostriches feed at least uh, three cages uh, per day and that's a, a combination, a formulation of uh, different components of uh, ostriches, uh, of feeds, taking care of the uh, 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 needs, uh, health needs, including proteins, um, carbohydrates, and uh, vitamins. So we have uh, mains is uh, one of the main components of the feeds. We also have proteins like uh, fish meal, sunflower, and soya soya cake. So for the <coughs> for the enanch, we have uh, mains. I've uh, talked of uh, mains. So I have uh, wheat bran, uh, wheat pollen and, and uh, means jam, uh, if you don't have the means. These flightless birds are not only the largest in the world, but also the fastest. Though flightless, ostriches have a wingspan of up to 6.6 .6 feet, and they mainly use their wings for balance while running or defending themselves against predators. What's more, their unique adaptations to life in the savanna make them incredibly intriguing. Ostriches are very immune to uh, common uh, poultry diseases. They can uh, withstand uh, um, uh, those diseases and also different weather conditions. But they are more active during the dry weather and uh, sunny uh, uh, kind of weather. Um, they uh, actually during the dry season that is when they dry and also sunny weather that is when they produce and that is from um, uh, August to December that is when we, uh, we collect the eggs. Today we visit the only ostrich farm in Kenya and the largest in East Africa, the Maasai Ostrich Farm. These chalky roads lead you to this hotspot in Kitangela, a 45-minute drive away from the city. Uh, right now we have um, um, 318 ostriches. Um, this area is where we keep the breeders. Um, we have a total of 101 female ostriches for production and uh, 49 male ostriches. Uh, here we keep a uh, two breeds of ostriches. Uh, we have a uh, Maasai breed and Somali breed. The entrance to breed brooder. We meet Oscar, the manager of this farm. Welcome to Maasai Ostrich Farm. Uh, this farm was started uh, back in 1992 uh, with uh, 50 ostriches. Huh? Uh, where we are now is uh, the tour route, huh? uh, where visitors are taken uh, around. The first step is we have the disinfection area, just a biosecurity procedure. Granted, every animal has a story, and ours is to find out the story of an ostrich and where you can hang out with them just like me. This area is where we keep the breeders. Um, we have a total of 101 female ostriches for production and uh, 49 male ostriches. Uh, here we keep uh, two breeds of ostriches. Uh, we have a Maasai breed and Somali breed. 
For Maasai breed, um, the male has pink skin. And also the Somali has a bluish uh, skin. For the females, they have uh, grey uh, feathers. Uh, one female ostrich lays uh, one, uh, one egg each uh, two days, every two days. Um, these are collected and taken to the hatchery for incubation. Uh, we use artificial incubation, we use uh, incubators to hatch the ostrich uh, chicks. Ostriches are very immune to uh, common uh, poultry diseases. They can uh, withstand uh, um, uh, those diseases and also different weather conditions. But they are more active during the dry weather and uh, sunny uh, uh, kind of weather. Um, they uh, actually during the dry season, that is when they dry and also sunny weather, that is when they produce. And that is from um, uh, August to December. That is when we, uh, we collect the eggs. Grown ostriches are about three meters high, uh, with uh, uh, much of the height being taken by the being taken by the neck, uh, which is long. Um, uh, you can see the eyes are also big. Um, these are uh, adapted for to, to see um, from far, um, because uh, uh, back in the world, uh, the ostriches are they, they are um, prey to most of the uh, predators. Uh, for the males, they are very strong and they use their legs to, to fight uh, or to attack. They kick uh, uh, forward and uh, downward. So they are the ones responsible to protect the, the group. Um, in our case, uh, in each paddock, we put uh, one male and a number of females. Uh, this is because uh, if you uh, have uh, two males or more, they will uh, reach a point where they will uh, be fighting, especially for territory. For the ostriches, they have uh, two tolls, uh, not like those of chicken, which are like four to five, but uh, for ostriches too. They, uh, they also can run very fast. Yeah, they can run, uh, run very fast. Uh, up to 72 kilometers per hour. For the small chicks, they have uh, some kind of uh, sound, uh, that hissing sound. Uh, but after some stage of life, like uh, three to four months, they lose that uh, aspect of uh, sound, especially the females. Uh, they don't have uh, uh, sound from that uh, point. Uh, but for males, they have, uh, when they get to breeding um, age and uh, during the breeding season, they have a uh, certain sound they make. Um, and that's... Uh, that is to show aggression when they are approached by, by intruders uh, like people or other animals. Uh, sometimes they use that uh, sound to attract uh, the females when uh, they are in the courtship uh, um, activities, uh, including uh, the voice and the dance. They usually dance to attract the females. They use their wings to dance to show that they are pleased or they are attracted to a certain male. Uh, also when they are frightened or when they feel uh, uh, insecure, there is a way in which they stand uh, and they, uh, you can see they are very alert, uh, looking at uh, their, their head uh, 
uh, stretched up um, to show that they are allowed to, to see what is happening around and to ensure that they to show that they are ready to, to run away. There are a lot of uh, uh, products from uh, ostriches. Uh, we usually say that uh, every product from everything from the ostrich body is uh, useful. Uh, we have uh, the main product is meat and that is the main reason why we rear the ostriches. Um, we usually slaughter the ostrich at the end of uh, from nine months uh, up to one and a half years. That's the, that the age in which uh, the meat is uh, more uh, tender and uh, softer. Uh, ostrich meat is a uh, red meat, as you have said, uh, is in the category of uh, red meat. Um, I know many people have a notion that uh, since it's a bird, it's a uh, uh, white meat like chicken, but it's a uh, red meat. Um, however, some of the main benefits of the ostrich meat is that um, it has low fat cont uh, content uh, and also low uh, in terms of uh, uh, cholesterol and also the proteins are uh, within the uh, uh, safe range. Eh? In terms of uh, the benefits, that uh, is it's more uh, safe to have uh, ostrich meat than other beef uh, or other types of uh, uh, meat, um, including uh, beef or chicken. The other products is uh, ostrich egg, it's the egg. Um, it's big, it's about uh, two, um, two to three kgs. Eh? Um, okay, some you can get uh, from 1.5, but averagely it's uh, two to two, uh, two kgs to three kgs. So you can buy an eggshell, keep it as a souvenir. You can buy an egg, go eat it. You can buy a feather duster, they're really soft, so they're good. You can buy ostrich, ostrich skin. Yeah, and mostly we normally have, our, when our visitors come, they normally visit our clear shop, they buy our stuff. So we really sell them, and they're really good. Ostrich skin is, uh, is very uh, nice. Uh, it's be even better than the, the other skins from uh, maybe cows or, or goats. Yeah, um, it has a very nice leather, uh, which can be used to make uh, the common articles like uh, shoes, uh, uh, belts, and uh, even uh, uh, bags. Yeah. You usually, we also have uh, uh, some chairs made from um, ostrich skin. Our eggshells goes for a thousand bob. Our feathers goes for we have small and the big ones. The big ones go for goes for 100 Kenyan shillings, and the small ones goes for 50 Kenyan shillings. We have feather dusters. We have big and medium, and we have big and small ones. The big ones we sell them for a thousand, a thousand Kenyan shillings, and the small ones we sell for 100 Kenyan shillings. The taste of the egg, ostrich egg, is almost the same uh, like that of chicken. Uh, we usually um, say that uh, one egg of uh, ostrich is about that uh, eggs of a uh, chicken. Ostrich egg cannot be boiled because uh, the shell is very hard, so you have to take uh, maybe a whole day to boil it. <laughs> so it's uh, usually fried. Um, you make an omelette, um, so you first um, break it, pour it in a jack of furia. Then now you can uh, you can fry a bit uh, bit by bit a small one. Um, then you can have it. Yeah. It's 
see the ostriches have uh, very nice uh, feathers. Uh, they are used to make uh, um, mats, ostrich feather mats, uh, ostrich feather dusters, and uh, um, some communities use ostrich feathers to make uh, those traditional um, hats. Another product of, uh, from the ostrich is uh, the ostrich oil, uh, which is used to commonly used to treat uh, some of the common um, diseases like uh, allergy. Uh, you also have uh, TB. It's used to reduce the uh, the effect of TB, and also uh, those other uh, chronic diseases. Our ostriches are actually are semi-tamed. Eh? Uh, they, they, are, they are friendly to people. Eh? Um, for, the, for, the small, uh, for the growers, uh, all small ostrich to grow a population, they, they are basically harmless. They can't attack people. However, for the breeders like this one, uh, they can attack people, but we usually take caution on that, or, or, on that and we, we make sure we separate them from where the people are passing. So there is no point where we'll see the ostriches roaming uh, where the people can pass. So you can see the paddocks are well uh, uh, maintained, but they usually know people, but when it's breeding season, they usually attack people. And uh, we have the, when we are taking the, the guides, uh, the tours around, we have the guides who can explain where people, uh, where can be danger and how uh, they can uh, do to ensure they are not attacked by the ostriches. We also have uh, one ostrich which is uh, trained for riding. That one is purely tamed. Uh, it's, uh, they are used to see people and also to carry them. The ostrich production starts with the, uh, the breeding population, where we, we are now. Um, that's where we, the eggs are uh, laid. Then now we collect them, we take them to archery. Uh, an ostrich egg takes 42 days to hatch, um, and then after that we now get the chicks. Um, we have the archery, where now we produce the, uh, the chicks, then take them to the, we have another section which we call uh, the brooder. That is now where we grow the chicks uh, from uh, less than a month. Then, uh, since we get them in, in, in uh, bunches, uh, certain, uh, we, we have bunches, uh, that's how they come. So, we have normally we usually have a, a bunch for one month, two months, three months. Um, uh, up to now, when we, they get to more than one year, then now we take them, we either um, promote them to breeder population, but within that uh, period, we usually sell uh, uh, life as life, and also when they get to a certain weight, uh, we sell them as, uh, we, we slaughter for meat. Uh, a kg of uh, uh, ostrich steak, uh, is uh, goes for three thousand, and uh, we also have a fillet. Um, th those are um, meat without bone. Uh, we sell at four thousand per kg. We also have uh, meat on bone. We sell at two thousand per kg. A fully grown ostrich can weigh up to one fifty kgs. That's uh, the males are more bigger, and they weigh more. Um, the females range from one hundred to one that kgs. Uh, the, the age at which we slaughter uh, weigh uh, between 70 kgs to 100 kgs or even more uh, depending on the, the, the age. Mm -hmm.